Tell me, Captain, are you sure your men can handle this? The safe destruction of all those bioweapons? Bioweapons? What bioweapons? There are no bioweapons in Russia. I see. And those men on the boat, in the hazmat suits. That's the problem with you people in the West. You always think there are WMDs. Then you go to war over it, and then... Phew, there are none. You know what kind of paperwork I would have to fill out if there were WMDs here? Clearly, my mistake. Yes. And in the meantime, you can expect my government to be calling your government to register a protest for your actions here. I wouldn't have expected anything less. James, are you all right? I'm better than you. Ah, oh, this? It's given me an entirely new idea for a line of bracelets. Indeed. The cast will be off in a week. It's nothing that a few days at a private beach in Bermuda won't take care of. Care to join me? I've got a plane waiting. I wish I could. But I've still got some mopping up to do here. Mm, you sure? We might be able to get into all sorts of interesting trouble together. Well, the offer's tempting, but... By the way, what about your friend? Isn't he going to be upset about destroying his car? <laughs> he probably expected it. He already thinks I'm a terrible driver. I wreck everyone I get into. Back in London, they say the same thing about me. Anyway. Congratulations on stopping Pomerol. Thank you. And thank you for helping me facilitate things. You sure I can't convince you to come with me? Positive. Well, I hope I get to see you again. I'm sure our paths will cross. Ciao. Take care. I can't believe you let her go. She wanted you. I need a room. A private room. You should have asked for that while she was still here. Don't you have some cleaning up to do? Some non-existent bioweapons? Second floor of the police station. Third door on your right. And make sure you say hello to MI6 for me. I'll give them your best. Bond here. Yes. I've been waiting to hear from you, 007. Omarov's dead. The factory is destroyed. The remaining bioweapons have been turned over to the Russians. I know. The Prime Minister has already heard from their government. It's threatening to become a diplomatic nightmare. I want you out of there. Back in London for a full debriefing. No. This isn't over. The anonymous tip we received about the bioweapons couldn't have been from the researcher. He was being tortured at the time. Somebody wanted us to get to Pomerov, and the question is who and why. So how do you want to proceed? When I took the courier's cell phone in Istanbul, all the phone calls on it were local except for one that he didn't answer. Have Tanner and Q Branch find that phone. I want to know who the courier was avoiding and why. Way? Good morning. Colonel Ping. Good morning, Commander Bond. To what do I owe the pleasure of this phone call? I'd like to know why a top Chinese agent was trying to contact a courier in Istanbul. Perhaps it's the same reason a British agent was following him. Are you suggesting an alliance? You'll find me at the aquarium in Bangkok tomorrow night. Come alone. It's the only way I can guarantee your safety. Funny. I was just going to issue the same warning to you. Bond here. Good evening, Mr. Bond. Where are you, Ping? We'll meet soon enough, but first, I need you to perform a small task in order to ensure our security. And what might that be? It's come to my attention there is recording equipment hidden in the aquarium. And we can't take the chance of anyone listening in on us. Let me know after you found them and disabled them.
It's done. We're clear. Good. Meet me on the ground floor by the whale tank. The aquarium is now closed. Thank you for the and come again soon. Ping? Is that you? Tell me, Commander Bond, how much do you know about whales? Not much. Enough to know they shouldn't be kept in aquariums. Apart from that, I wouldn't like to end up in one. Then maybe you can understand what it's like to live inside the world's biggest country. There are 1.3 billion people living in China today, Mr. Bond. 1.3 billion Chinese who need to be fed and housed and clothed. Every day, every week, year in, year out. I am aware of the numbers. But perhaps not the implications. Go on. It's not that we're not as smart or as technologically savvy as the West. We invented gunpowder and currency while you were still living in caves. But in every society, there are those who would cheat. Those who would steal to gain any advantage. The researcher, industrial espionage. Someone in China was behind this. One of your people kidnapped and killed him. No, something worse. An economic mercenary. Someone who would steal the most dangerous technological secrets and sell them to the highest bidder. Not out of ideology or politics, but for money and power to turn us against each other. But who? Where? How do we find him and stop him? My team was in Geneva, following up on a link to this man. Do you recognize him? No. His name is Rak. He was born in northern Mongolia, on the contested border between Russia and China, and has no love for either. He keeps his money and his mistress in Switzerland. But he operates out of Bangkok. If it's illegal, he's got a piece of it. At first, we thought he was a middleman in all this. <laughs>
Take one more step and you're dead. Throw down the gun. No, just by talking to you, Rock is going to kill both of us! 